the guys that own the gym were like uh, CrossFit dudes. So we're like in a big warehouse and stuff like that. And they, they love building stuff and they got a bug up their ass and just decided to uh, build. Like they, they got some like plans for like a, a ring and then built it out of chains and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty badass. <laughs> they got it. They got the, um, the, the blueprint from somewhere. It's super stable. They know what they're doing. They're good at building stuff. So, and then like, um, the chains actually like the way they're set up have bounce to it and stuff like that. I thought it would, I thought it would, uh, wouldn't be great, but uh, actually it's kind of fun in there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know who that is. Not on the interwebs in the comments enough, I guess, to know, to know what's going on with that. But I get compared to anybody else with gray hair. So I'm assuming that's what's going on. But like a year ago, um, I, uh, I entered in this crazy tournament where like you fight three times that night and, uh, and the first round's boxing, second round's kickboxing, and uh, the third round is uh, MMA. If you make it all the way through to the tournament, but like uh, I fizzled out pretty early in the in the boxing. Um, it's the first boxing one I'd ever done, and I really like vastly under underestimated um, the altitude because it was way up in like in Colorado, and uh, I had a lot more trouble with that than I thought I would did. So it was a little frustrating. I thought I was, you know, like I th think a lot of the people had me and this one of the guy that actually won the tournament um, kind of pegged to be the final ones in there. And I just <laughs> fizzled out pretty quickly. So after that, like I had had a couple other frustrating fights and I, I think I just needed, I needed some time off after that. I'm fighting Jason Witt at uh, FAC um, on February 22nd. It's a really fun one for me to come back to because I took a year off. Um, I had a kid and wanted to take some time off um, from fighting, and uh, I'm happy to come back to a good one. This is this is one I think for people around the Kansas City area that uh, people are almost surprised that it hadn't happened yet. So it's going to be going to be a good one. Um, Jason Witt's tough. He's got uh, good wrestling. Uh, he's a brown belt in jujitsu. Uh, hits hard. So it should just be fun. When I got to fight Pele, um, Jose Pele, Landy Johns, that was huge because. Um, uh, because my coach out here, um, Shannon Woodward, he was like, that was like his hero, like early on. So uh, what he, he like fangirled over him for a second. And then he was just like, after after we fired the camp, he's like, all right, well, I'm not going to talk about him anymore because we're going to go beat him. And uh, and I was able to beat him and not only beat him, but I was able to knock him out on the feet, which is uh, not something anybody expected. Um, so that was a, a huge win for me and a, and, a, and a big fight and a really cool experience. Um, other than that, uh, I bought uh, my fight versus Bobby Volker for the uh, Shamrock title. That was a huge one just because we went all five rounds and it was just, it was just a battle. Um, and it was uh, a lot of punches and kicks thrown and it was, it was a lot of fun. So I think those would probably be the two most memorable. Just follow me on social media to see what goes on after this. Like this is uh this is me coming back to, to see if, uh, see if I want to take another big run. Uh, if this goes the way I think it, think it can um it could it could go good after this take a couple good wins and hopefully um see what happens after that been working on a lot of stuff